It's not a job, but a passion for these shipwreck searchers. Okay, now we're going. Now you can D down, go down. down. This Northland crew of eight years found this vessel in June near two harbors. It's like wandering around in the desert for 40 years. They thought it was the Robert Wallace, a ship that sank in 1902. The spot where they were looking was near where it went down. They thought they had found it with their sonar equipment and underwater cameras. In some of the early drop down camera footage we got, uh, it appeared clearly to say RO on it, which later we realized was partially disrupted by the silt. So instead, it was the Thomas Friant. It went to its final resting place in January of 1924. The ship got stuck in the ice and eventually sank. The 13 fishermen battled sub-zero temperatures to make it to shore. They got into their rowboat and uh, in January they rowed 13 miles to a light they saw on the North Shore. Randolph Beebe and his fellow searchers spend about three weeks a year on the water, but the rest of the time researching the history of Lake Superior's fallen ships. This requires a lot of time and effort. Often they come up empty-handed. You have to enjoy the process of going about it. I mean, if you consider yourself an absolute failure by going out and not finding anything, then that's, uh, that's no good. The local shipwreck searching team has been looking for the Wallace for five years. Even though they did not find it this time, the thrill of the hunt drives these ambitious men. Plus, they know the Wallace is still out there. If we don't find it today, there's always tomorrow, and we'll enjoy tomorrow too. But there's also a part of them that does not want to find it tomorrow. You've been after it, you've been challenging it, working, and you get kind of a feeling toward it and a personal relationship. And now when you find it, now it's gone and done, and there's a certain amount of sadness. I'm Josh Zenner for Eyewitness News.